time Rochelle was originally worn and in this video I'm going to show you how to accurately and easily install hardware on cabinetry. So I'm going to show you uh, how to install a pull and a knob. There's a couple tricks to each of these different ways. So watch the whole thing or skip along to whichever one you need to install. My favorite and easiest way to do this and the trick is this tool. There's lots of parts to it. Um, I'll, you can find it either in my Amazon store or I will put the link in the description below. Um, so basically, what you're gonna do is it slides, see in different parts here, and you take your ruler and it slides, and I always just put mine to where these lines line up right there with, this, with the zero. I'm sure obviously different applications, you're gonna need a different thing and then you tighten it down with the screw. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the knob first, because it's easier. So you have that, and then you have this part of this tool. This sits and rests on either like the top part of your door here, or upside down and on the bottom if you're doing an upper cabinet, or like that or that, when you're doing a pull. So since there's only drilling one hole with a pull, we'll start there. So you can see, you could measure on how much you wanna drop this down from your cabinets, and then you tighten this, and that does it accurately. I know, because I've done enough of these holes, that I want mine all the way down to four and a half here. So your measurement comes, let me see if I can twist this so you can see. You're, you read your measurement at this very top up there. So basically the reason I do that is because I love this tool so much, I don't want to use another one. And that's as low as it goes to actually use your hole because you drill right through this center hole. So what else you'll need is a I think it's a 3 16 drill bit. I don't remember if it came with this or not, or if I just had one, and a drill. So the next thing you're gonna do, so you have your tool all set up. It's at zero in the center there. You have this moved at the four and a half mark up there, or all the way down. Of course, you can have that differently. That's just what I'm gonna do for my knobs. So, I'm gonna put it right here, be careful you don't scratch your surface. I'm gonna measure in this distance from this edge and this edge, and you have your drill, and you stick it right, so I'm center, I'm equal on both these sides, and I have this tight against the top. And I just stick my drill bit in there, and push go. Sometimes I also put a block of wood back here to help it not splinter the back. Um, these are my own cabinets. I'm not really that picky. And back your drill back out of it. You will make a mess. And be careful you don't scratch your painted surface with your brand new, your brand new paint job. So there is a drill hole. Perfect there. Now, most hardware, most good quality hardware, um, these are Jeffrey Alexander knobs, and you can also get these um, from me or through my Amazon store. The same, I think most of this stuff is under the Master Bath, Master Half Bath remodel. Anyway, so a knobs usually come with two different sizes. So it depends on what you're putting it through. If you're putting it through a drawer, you're gonna need a longer one. 
and you see how it comes at notches so you can cut it off hopefully you won't have to do that the small one is a standard size through a cabinet door so you simply stick it through one side screw this guy in And you can tighten it up with like a hand screwdriver on the other side, or I literally just push my finger to this and use my other one. That's all the tighter I need. So that's for a knob. And now I'm gonna move on to a drawer. Drilling holes for a pull is a wee bit more complicated because you have to get your spacing between your two screws exactly right if not it's not going to fit each way so the trick with this tool is really simple you have this again just like we had set up for our knobs if you'd like you could disregard this at the very moment um you're going to put on this set comes with uh, i think three more of these um, you're going to put this one on. You're going to slip one on. Oops. Drill side up there. You're going to slip one on. And we're going to end up tightening it, but you slip one. And then slip the other one on. Drill, drill hole side up. Next, we're actually going to attach the knob to these two holes. So now you can see I have literally attached my knob to this tool. The reason, and I've done it with the short screws. Um, the reason being is that I've measured a million times and I always seem to get it wrong. So what I do is I try to make sure there's a teeny little line in there and a teeny little line in there. And I try to make sure they're on the exact same spot because your center is on zero. So, I'll move these to figure out, I'll have to look closer to where the exact line is that they're equal, and then I'll tighten these screws down. Once you have that done you, and you've tightened those down, now basically you have the vertical width of where you want your holes to be. Next, you see how this is matching numbers on both sides. I will line it up and I'll know that this side is hitting a 15, and then I'll move it and go, okay, 15 and a half, and each side's about at 15 and a half, and then I'll know that's where it goes in this direction. Next, you'll kind of judge, now depending on if you have an actual cup pull, or if you have like a regular kind of pull that doesn't have the extended up area, you know, you can divide this in half and drop this down exactly half so they're exactly in the middle or if you want them, you know, two inches off the top or whatever is your desire. The thing is with this tool, it's gonna be uniform from drawer to drawer to drawer. So again, to do that, you put this, slide this back on top, and I'm gonna start to tighten it down. I'm gonna guess we're, you know, we have little drawers. We're gonna be about, see that's gonna be way too high. Okay, now that I've found the spot where I want it to sit properly, I can see that this is where I want it up and down. Of course, this again, like we said, is not in the middle because cup pulls have the arch upward. And then we're gonna make sure that's sitting on there correctly and making sure this is, you know, pick a point of reference. I like to pick kind of this edge on cabinets. This is about exactly right there in center. And then I try to hold it down in one spot that I'm holding it well but not to where I'm gonna mar the finish that I just worked on. So I have it in one spot. I'm gonna set my drill the correct way and go through the first hole.
And if you're drilling through an actual whole drawer, it's going to take longer and it's going to be a bigger, it's going to need a longer screw because you're drilling through two pieces of wood. These are false drawers, so they're just one. So the next trick is you take one of your long screws and you stick it in there. That ensures that this doesn't fly off as you start to drill your next round here. Still hold it down though. Go in. There we go. Pop it through and pull her back. And then kind of wipe your mess off. And yeah, you'll make a big mess inside of your cabinet there too. You'll have to clean up. Next then, in this case, I'll have to kind of come up underneath here because this is, again, like I said, a false drawer. And so because it's a false one, I will need just my little screws. So I have that one. My husband always laughs because I stick my tongue out while I concentrate. So if you see that, sorry. So I need to tighten those down a bit, but that's that handle. I'm gonna repeat it now on this and I'll show you the finished product.